Remember, this video is part of a video sequence converging the high simulation of the chemical distribution in toluene's hydroxylation to produce benzene. A link is available below. Now we're going to add the second separation unit or component splitter to separate uh, ideal separation of the toluene to recycle it back to the mixer too. Okay, we're going to add the second component splitter. So we come here to separator component splitter. We're going to add it here. The purpose of this is to separate toluene. I want to remind you that this is an ideal separation to distribute the chemicals. It is very probable that because we have three components in, st in stream five, we may need at least two more separations. Uh, we will deal with separation strategies soon enough uh, in this class, but let's finish the mass balance or the chemical distribution using the component splitters. Double click CS2. Inlet is S5. Overhead is called product mix. Bottom is S S6, yeah. I'm gonna just in case put the duty here to calculate that. Let's go and identify the splits. So for here, we know that the product mix, there's nothing coming of hydrogen, nothing of methane. We, we are assuming that is benzene coming there, nothing of toluene because it's going in stream six, and biphenyl is gonna be with the benzene. Notice that even that here it is calculated to be one hydrogen and methane, there's nothing coming in that stream, but at least it's telling you where you should go if, it, if it's so. Let's go to the worksheet and add, we're gonna be assuming once again, constant temperature, constant pressure, because we are not dealing with the energy balance right now. We're gonna deal with that later. It is converged, save it. I went ahead and added the table for the stream six, so I can compare when I connect my recycle. So notice the amount uh, of toluene coming in the stream is not that much uh, compared to what we had with the hydrogen before. However, we are going to add a regular recycle just to see if it works. If it doesn't work, then we have to go and do exactly what we did for recycle number one. So I'm just gonna show you that you can do it either way. It depends on uh, which man converge and works for you. I'm gonna add, go to manipulators and a recycle, add a recycle and put it somewhere here in between. I'm gonna double click, inlet will be X6. The outlet will be real C2H8 recycle. It converged. Save it. Now let's connect this to my mixer too. If it converts for me, however, if it doesn't convert for you, for you, what you can do is go back and add the original amount of the toluene that you had. Um, and then you can come here to iterations and increase the maximum number. So if you have a number that is smaller than this, uh, you may want to redo this again and make sure that it converges. So for me, it converged. So I'm gonna save it. Notice that after I add that, I recycle it because I have the amount of the toluene fixed with the feed and not with the amount of inside S2, right, which is going into the reactor, then that amount of toluene is increasing, right? We have a larger amount than we had before. Sometimes we need to add to add another adjust just because right now you are deciding the amount of toluene that you need based on the amount being produced on the reactor. However, the reality is that 
it should be connected to the amount that we are producing after the separation. And this is important because it may change, right? You may have a decrease because of the efficiency of the separations. You may have a decrease on the amount produced uh, in the process, but you want to make sure that you adjust your initial amounts, right? Or, or your feed in order for you to be able to produce uh, the desire or the target quantity of the desired product. So what we're going to do is that we're going to add a second on adjust but before I'm gonna save it and I'm gonna double click here and ignore it I'm gonna add another adjust notice that you can add another adjust like I'm doing but you can also sh adjust this adjust right so you can also change that too I'm just gonna add another one so you can see it I'm gonna double click here so the select variable is the C, uh, C2H8 feed mass flow. The target va variable will be the product mix. Uh, here I'm looking at the master component mass flow of benzene. You don't do the total, right? Because right now it's mixed uh, with uh, biphenyl. So you want to make sure that you're looking at the desired product. The amount that we calculated before was 2642 pounds per hour. We can use the same maximums and minimums that we explored before. So from 10,000 to 35,000. Added an extra zero there. No, 10,000 to 35, zero, zero, zero. Okay, now I, I made a mistake. Uh, the bound, the minimum bound was larger than the upper bound, but it converged. So right now, I'm gonna come here, right? I have a, this adjust is not working anymore. You can hide it if you want to. And then you have the second adjust that is now actually looking at the sep after the separations notice that the amount that we are producing is not quite there yet so you can always come here as we did before um, let me actually look at the product so i'm gonna come here at a table i added a table to look at the amount that i'm producing of benzene notice that we are not quite there yet and typically that happens when the step size and the tolerance are not the appropriate so I'm just going to start going down slowly look at that step size it's very big so I'm just going to do 200 150 I move them typically at the same time okay now it's changing notice how it's getting closer and closer to our target so right now this is uh, the target value that we added so we're meeting specifications so this is a moment to save and congratulate yourself because you just created the distribution of chemical for this particular reaction.